me a little groggy tonight. Just a few hours ago, he had surgery to remove a kidney. For Mike Navybox, it's been a frightening few weeks since he learned he had cancer. But Mike's one of the smart ones. We learned today that far too many men still don't go to the doctor even when they have serious symptoms. Here's Danny Isdale. In a Canberra hospital room, Mike Navybox may be stuck in bed, but his family has joined him to help pass the time before the orderly arrives to take him to the operating theatre. Mike isn't used to being steered because it's usually him in the driver's seat in control. He's been racing for decades, running a busy motorsport school in Goulburn. He works hard 14 hours a day and still finds time to squeeze in a few hundred k's on the bike here and there. Yeah, I'm still still punching it with the young ones. Um, yeah, pretty fit. Um, yeah, don't drink, don't smoke. You know, exercise quite regularly, yeah. And lead a really active life. So, three weeks ago, when he noticed blood in his urine after a punishing day, he thought he'd just pushed himself too hard and eaten too much spicy food. I thought about, oh, it's probably the, the chilli, the pepper, the I'm exhausted. Um, you know, I'd been under a car and, you know, in different places, so I thought, oh, look, I won't worry about it, but I couldn't help but worry about it. So you had every reason, every excuse just to ignore it? Absolutely. Like, so easily. Because come Monday, lunchtime, to this day, I've had no blood in the urine. Even though his symptoms disappeared and he felt fine, Mike, just in case, went to the doctor. They found a tumour in his kidney. It was like a shiver, without doubt, you, you get that, oh, it's, it's, it's a big wake-up call, I mean, uh, it, you, you just, words just can't describe it, and I guess it's at that point then how you deal with it. The surgeon said his whole kidney had to be removed, and he's not sorry to see it go. Oh, I'll be a bit lighter, <laughs> so <laughs> lap time should drop, I mean, that's the... That's, that is the that's, a, that's a bright side, <laughs> and on the push I should be able to climb those mountains a bit quicker. So that, that's a great, you know, looking forward to that side of it. Michael did exactly the right thing. The tragedy is uh, that men often overlook that and only act after it's occurred many times. One in two men will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. For women, it's one in three. Take any change in appearance, symptoms uh, or bodily experiences seriously. Don't think that anything's too trivial to bring to your doctor's attention uh, and act promptly. They're actually probably um, scared to know that, hey, I might have something. Um, and then when it's too late, well, it's too late. Because he acted quickly, Mike's prospects are pretty good. He should be back on the track within weeks. And whenever you're in the race, you're in the race. It's, you know, um, you know I've been given very good, good chances and good odds of, um, you know, beating this. You know, 100% recovery. So you only need 1% chance, don't you? And even if someone says you've got 0% chance, well, that's their opinion. So when you're in the race, you just got to put on the gloves and fight. And a great sense of humour. And we just heard uh, Mike's surgery went well, and he's now awake and with his family. Well, still to come tonight, how do you compensate someone who spent years in jail for a murder they didn't commit? Not a bad question. And later, legendary radio DJ Bob Rogers. Yes. He must be old. I grew up listening to him. Well, it's much.